Um, let me just say, I will never eat trail mix during a recording ever again. <laughs> hey guys, welcome. Welcome to Seattle Sonic Basketball. We are in the freaking playoffs, man. Uh, three seasons in, first season under 500, like only won like 30-something games. Second season went a little better, won more games, but ended up in the play-in tournament and got exited out after one game. Right now, we got a series. Taking on the Memphis Grizzlies. In the last video, I showed this Grizzly team. Um, I think we have our work cut out for us, but we do have home court advantage. We are fourth seed. And the Grizzlies are a fifth seed. So we are good. And of course, you know, wait a minute. We show all the playoff series going on over at New Orleans, Dallas. New Orleans Pelicans are the defending champs. They take on the Mavs to start the AFC Mavs. Of course, we take on Memphis, Golden State, who is like one of the better teams in this league. Take on the San Antonio Spurs with Joel Embiid. OKC, for some odd reason, is always great. And they take on the seven seed Lakers over the East. You got the Toronto Raptors, the number one seed, taking on the Baltimore Barons, an expan another expansion team that I, that I put in the game. Cleveland versus Miami, the fourth and fifth seed. Atlanta versus the Pittsburgh Force, another expansion team I put in the league. And you got Indiana versus Philly for the second and seventh seed. So all the playoff, the playoffs are locked. We are ready to go. And let me look at this real quick. Maybe it won't change what I did, but it, I don't know why it keeps changing what I did. I took a minute off somebody, probably uh, Atkins. Um, I do not want Burke to play 18 minutes. I want those minutes to go to, oh, God, I'm butchering this thing. I want to go to Suggs. And who is in there more than they should be? Probably Pascal. Someone's over. Yep, yeah, he's over. All right, we're good now. Of course, the CPU may change it. I hate this Nintendo Switch controller. I cannot stress that enough. Pretty much, we're going to go in with the same thing I gave. I boost the minutes up for the guys who are kind of hot, the starting lineup. Fleming is in the second tier. I put the door up there. Uh, let's see, Atkins is coming off the bench. And I guess that's fine. Wait a minute. I'm ready to start this playoff series, guys. I don't know how it's going to go. I think I'm going to do games one and two tonight. But something tells me I kind of want to kill the series off today. You know, just get it over with and kill it off today. But I kind of want to hold it in suspense. We went so long going through these games and going through the season. I don't want to rush it. I do want to enjoy it. I really, really do. I really do. So let's just go ahead and get it on. We're at home, our first official home playoff game in the series. And we are going to do it. Grizzly Sonics game one, here we go. Please note that the following early games will be simulated. Forest and Hawks, that is okay with me. No problem with that. So that the Forest do against the Hawks, I don't see them coming out. But weirder things have happened. And we're going home jerseys, of course. We're going home jerseys. I'm not going to change our jersey. However, I want Memphis to be Memphis. And I think that's pretty cool right there. John Morant and Suggs. Two young players in the league, man. Going to have a chance to... Battle each other in a seven game series. I cannot wait. I've been holding off this video for a while. I'm ready to get it in. 
Um, I did do a video earlier, uh, Cobbs playing in Tampa Bay. That was a really good, uh, I had a really good time with that. Let me turn down this TV. I had a really good time with that. It was fun. Um, watching the Heat Celtics. Um, Celtics uh, do not look good. They lost two home. The two, they're down 2-0, and, they, and this series was in their place. So that is not good. They are in a bad spot, probably more than the Lakers are. Because at least the Lakers would win at home. Here we go. Checking out the opening lineup for Memphis. Jaron Jackson out there with John Morant. Can't leave him alone. Guys, this looks great. The home crowd's in there. They're wearing all the white. Um, Seattle basketball is back. You know it's back when you're in the playoffs. Oh, no. That's not good. Oh. Here's Bane. James defending Bane. Oh! Keep doing that. You'll be coming off the bench. Here's Moran. Pass to Bane. Outside Moran. To the paint. Oh! Jackson. That's probably not a good matchup. A lot larger. I'm trying to let the coach figure it out, but if we are in, get in danger here, I am going to change uh, the defensive uh, the defensive focus. I'm definitely, if Jared Jackson Jr. is getting, if, um, Miles Bridges is getting beat up by Jared Jackson Jr. I have to put someone else on him. Um, can't have it. I don't know anyone else we have that can defend like that can defend him though. I mean, not really. And I do know that, of course, uh, Suggs is a defensive liability probably against Morant, but he's done some good things against Morant. I think the pretty much the last time we faced Morant, Morant just missed a lot of shots. I mean. He's not going to do that all the time. He's going to make some. And that's a three-pointer he would usually drain. Here come the Grizzlies. Jackson with it. Williams defending. Here's Giddy. Pass to Bain. From deep three-point range. Yeah, he's getting his first few shots again. No. Good, trying to use the glass. And that's okay. Even though you missed, you had the right guy taking the shot. Moran in the lead. Oh, good block by Miles Bridges. James, one side. Fires for three. Oh, we're just not hitting any shots right now. A little off to start this game. One for five, looking to find some kind of rhythm. Pass to Moran. Wait a minute. Why is Fleming in the starting lineup? The coach had to do in the starting lineup. Switch getting weird. 2K's getting weird. Oh, we love to get the rebound. On the wing vein, checked by James. That's a mismatch. Y'all double him. No, I guess Fleming gets dumped on. No. 
play, it was a highlight reel from Jaron Jackson. And the health defense came too late. Right now down at 8 2. That's the James. Let me yeah. James drains it. Because of the height disparity, there is no real contest. And stolen by Williams. Yes, sir. Well, they love it. They can get a bucket. Yeah, Kurt Hawkins has been grinding to a hole. Well, they love it. They can get a bucket. Oh, crap. That's the sucks. Five to shoot. That's it. Yeah, that is. Drains it. Slugs has got a second line to play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Oh, he's got the blue bio. Oh. Morant's going three for four from the floor line. Here's Suggs. And there's the lob. No. Oh. Disrupted, not to be, and now the Grizzlies on the run. Get back. Get your rebound. That's the Suggs. Inside, no. Too much traffic. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. You know that block has his teammates all pumped up. That is what playoff basketball is all about. Unfortunately. Man. Let's see what we do. A three off the inbound. James is good, Fleming. Anything we can get from Fleming would be great. Memphis leading. Here's Kenny. Oh, don't score again from him. That's my game, James. Get that ball back up. Okay, good. Here sucks. James, outside. Pass to Bridges. Bridges, no! The Grizzlies on offense. The deep right, no. The Grizzlies on this. Now Bridges. And here is Williams. This match, go inside. Yes, sir. Good heads up basketball. Season opening in capitalizes. Memphis trailing here. Inside. He's below. That's the guy you need on him. Williams yes. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. Wide open. No. And Memphis taking it the other way now. Now here's Moran. He's got six. Jackson. Oh, God. Boy, <laughs> first skill set buys you. Jackson with so many options at the corral in the list. Outside, Williams. That's the subs. Shot clock at five. Oh, Jack up another shot. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, man. man yes, sir. I'm not going to just jack up a shot. I'm going to go straight to the rim. And that's why we love you, bud. Way to go, Suggs. All right, it's going to be a series, man. I, I have no doubt. We eat the main thing that you don't want, man. The main thing you don't want is to be the Celtics right now. You do not want to be down 0-2 after being on your own floor for two for two games. That is a bad sign that you cannot win 
games on your own floor. Do not want that to happen. Lord, the hard spring frees him up for the bunny. And I do worry about Burke. Here's Burke. I do. And Jaw is still in there, but I think Sub should still be in there. She's messed up. He's rebounded by Memphis. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to play. Oh. <laughs> one of the cases where height fails to take the whole story. Here's Burke. Counted by Murray. And Burke, here we go. Oh, Burke, what the hell was that? If you're gonna do that, at least make it. Powers his room. He throws it down in fact. He's got serious hop, right? You add that to his ability to get in there, Atkins. No. That would usually that would have been a dunk, that would have been over with. Wow, they're going inside. They're killing us in the inside right now. They're really settling into a nice rhythm now. Starting the game, the upper game. They're playing well. They're building open. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. Oh, well, it's just an easy push for him. He has nice feel and touch around the bucket. Man. Now here's Moran. Work on Moran. Nope. It's a mismatch. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Here's Burke, counted by Moran. He sort of get open. And now jack up useless threes. And there's Memphis. As soon as some of the bench came in, yep, now you're starting to see it. There, are some of their benches in there too, but Morant's still in there, so this is kind of bad. I need someone to respond. Uh, turnover. Uh, turnover. Oh, and they turned it back. Thank you, Morant. Burke for the outside. No, but Atkins. No, get in there. Oh, oh God. And that must be Xavier Tillman. I was worried about him too coming off the bench. One of the shots at the rim go uncontested. And some stats here, guys. Scoring breakdown for Memphis. They've got a lot of high quality shots in the paint early on. That was clearly part of their game plan coming in. Also, like they oh, fast break in their first Lester. Season. They're taking it to Lester. Them. Why? Substitutions here. Okay, we need to maybe make it some substitutions too. Well, not like that. <laughs> I don't know about these guys, these bench guys. Our bench has been good all year, man. Bench has been good all year. I, I gotta trust. I gotta trust my bench. I gotta trust my bench. They've been doing it all year. But having to play Morant, yeah. Don't be tough. Push the ball up. Come on, guys. Pascal. Good. Just keep it close. Good defense, good defense right there. Here's Burke, counted by Moran. Pass to Pascal. There's a three. Uh, I don't like him shooting those. Now Memphis takes it the other way. Now here's Russell. Right wing. Here's Moran. To the middle. From 12 feet. They on him. Yeah. Still miss him. Get in there. The three ball. James. Rattled in. And 
Comes the bench, man. Got it. Oh, don't turn it over. Back him down. Back him down. Yes, sir. They're having a hard time stopping this run and being can't afford to keep coming up in time. Here's Moran. And I do not mind that foul. Just don't give them anything easy. Fouls are good as long as they don't make the shot. And ones, I, I don't like and ones. I only like and ones when we do it. <laughs> but if you give up an and one, that means you shouldn't even foul them. You shouldn't make them make the shot and y'all could have went down court. You're giving them extra points. So my thoughts on it is don't give them extra points. Don't give them extra points. We don't need to give Memphis extra points. But a pretty damn good quarter. You're already seeing the bench make an impact. Here's Burke. Going inside. The long arms and great footwork. John Moran is a constant threat to your shot. John Moran, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Memphis Grizzlies. Moving the rock and looking for a shot, it's clear he's in a good rhythm. And don't go far, we'll be right back. All right, guys. Now, of course, what we want to do, man, and um, I'm going to do this. We're going to go to the fourth quarter. If it's a game with like four minutes to left, we'll we'll watch it. Um, I definitely want to stay tuned. If it looks like we're going to just pull away or, or if we pull away, I'm definitely turning on there. I mean, this is the playoffs. This is what I've always wanted to get this Seattle team into a seven-game series. And so we're going to see how we do. A little first quarter. We'll definitely watch more of it. See if how the fourth quarter goes. If we can. And we are looking good. But. As they always say. Basketball is a game of runs. You know. You can look great. But another team gets hot enough. They can make shots. And make the game closer. So we are not, I am definitely not, I'm not celebrating yet, but we look good right now. We look really good, but this is the Memphis Grizzlies. They have John Morant, and this game, this game's getting close again. It's a close game. Let's watch. Let's watch. <laughs> We had a big lead, though. What? The, Gri the Grizzlies will not go away. And now the pressure's on. You you got to protect your home court. You have to protect your home court. Jalen Suggs. Here we go, guys. He's pleased with the season performance, saying, quote, we're on track. We're doing everything right. Keep it tight out there, and let's take back the series. That's all. Okay, thank you, Ellie. Just finish it. Shoot! Sure. No! Shoot! And he gave him too much space. And, wow. Tie game. Pass 
James, outside. Here's Suggs. Get in there, Suggs. No. Jackson's got six rebounds in the game. He's trying to go inside. And Morant's just Morant's just a nightmare. John Morant's just a nightmare. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. It's the fourth quarter and it's a close game. You want to get the ball to someone you can rely on. With a drive. Get in there, Fleming. No. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. We've got Moran again. Oh no. Pass to Bridges. You gotta, you wanna get the first game, man. And we're not, we're just not hitting. His struggles have been apparent. Unable to make an impact score on the ball. Yay! Yep, you did that. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed, a rush for offensively. They could really use a basket. Pass to Suggs. To the inside. Get in there, Fleming. Get in there, Fleming. Three of eleven, though. It'll get better. I just have to believe. Now here's Moran. Here's Kitty. Back to Moran. Takes the three. Drains it. Moran's got thirty-four rebounds. What a night for John Moran. We need to make some three pointers now. We need some. We need us. We need something now. Ooh, to door. To door is done. To door is done, man. That's our sixth man. Oh my. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, uh, Cody, thank you for getting the rebound. We need points now. Come on. Come on. Come on, Seattle. James, no. I need Suggs to take these shots, man. I need Suggs to take that shot. Not you. All right. And it left. We need to score points quick. Let me drains it. Oh. Well, yeah, we're in three, though. No, you cannot let him get to the basket. Thank you. All right, come on, guys. No! No! We need to get the ball back. And game over. We lost. We lost. I mean, you never know. I'm still keeping it on here, but I, I think this is going to be a this going to be a loss. We let them take home court. This is not good. Suggs out from the whim perimeter. Nope. Got to shoot it again. Drains it. It's too little, too late. Six seconds left. And I bet we're gonna have to foul. And that's not. And that's not gonna be good. That 
That is not going to be good. Tador, man. Tador is gone. And I don't know what kind of shooter this guy is. Jaron Jackson Jr. Is, he's just a beast, man. Just a beast. You got a foul. And unfortunately, we're going to foul Morant. We're going to foul Morant, man. Not a game. It's not over, but if he makes this, yeah, it's definitely over. And I don't understand what we're doing on these timeouts. We've lost. Good game, but in the end, we kind of just we just didn't have shots weren't going in. Um, their our defense gave up. Brent had a really big game. Brent had a really big game, and we're gonna lose by a point. What a game. Just sad we couldn't get it. So it's the Grizzlies who come to our top here. And it always takes a lot of pressure off the team when they get the win in game one. It's the most important game of the series. They've shown they know how to beat this team. The formula is in place. Now they just have to stick with it for the next few games. How about then to check in with Allie LaForce? She's courtside. Hey, um. Jaron, you've shown yourself to be an impact player at both ends of the sport. But is defense where it starts? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Keeps me active, just being able to move my feet. You know, to stay low on defense. You know, all those things keep me engaged. When you do those things, you can make a big impact. You know, that you're in the team. You know, everybody else, they take pride in you. They say, I'm working on everybody else's credit. Thanks, Jerry. Congrats on your success. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that about wraps it up from here, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA's Western Conference quarterfinals. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Steve Smith, this is Brian Anderson with our 2K Sports crew signing off. And we'll see you next Now we have to win game two. Um, Tador is a big loss. It's a big loss. Um, he does supply us some points. He had 14 points, you know. Five of eight, four of five. Probably the reason why we had such a big lead heading into the fourth quarter. Of course, we relinquished it. Um, Suggs, 18. But he was missing a lot of shots. James is really bad at three-point line, too. Tudor was getting it. Um, Bridges was off. Fleming, of course, is always usually off. Of course, Moss was pretty good. Um, and we let uh, Morant get 38 points. 38, 5, and 10. And Jared Jackson Jr., eight, you know, basically killed us inside. Can't have it. Bang, 3 or 4 from the three-point line. We have to do something, man. I mean, I just... <laughs> So we're going to have to see about putting someone else in other for Tador because I really don't have another shooting guard. And we'll just look at the entire game, where we lost at. We did hit the three-pointers, but they weren't hitting them enough. Our bench out scored theirs. The assists were close. We got out-rebounded, but we won on the offensive rebounds. And our biggest lead, they say our biggest lead was two. Huh? No, it wasn't. Grizzlies won the first quarter. We decisively won that second quarter. Then they made it a game in the third quarter, and they finished off in the fourth quarter. It's not a good game. Now we got to wonder about Tador. What to do about Tador? I have a bench player that probably can switch from point guard to shooting guard, and that's what we're going to have to do. But right now, Tador look, look, took a bite of cookie, realized there was a no milk, spit out cookie, slammed for his door, cried, is done for the season. The Pacers report that 
Tador, because I can't pronounce his last name, suffered a broken right arm, will be out for the season. And this is not a great time for that. We are down. We down a game to start the seven game series. This is not a good place to be. So now I have to look at another shooting guard. Look who we got at shooting guard. And Matt Thomas, you're going to be moved to shooting guard. Yes, you are. I have no other answer. You're moving to shooting guard. And you can play some point. But basically, yep, yeah, that's where you're going to go. And he is not to door. So this is going to be an issue. It also means that uh, jo Joffrey Fleming will be in there probably a lot longer than he wants to. <laughs> That's going to be the bad part. And where is Tador at? Tador is right there. And we're going to switch you out. Swap minutes, move players. Yep. And Joffrey Fleming, you're going to get a lot of minutes. Um, I'm going to cut him down to roughly 15. 15 minutes just to not tire him out. But he might do something. I don't know. He might do something. I'm going to push Joffrey to about 40. I mean, about 30. And Thomas will get 18. And that's how we're going to work that. All right. Matt Thomas, you're up. You're up, man. We are now down a game in the, in the series. We need to get this, get this, this game two, though. Game two is a need. And we will simulcast this. I kind of hate that because I want to do uniforms, but no, we just need to get to the fourth quarter. Before it can be used. I just did that. I just did that. But the, I don't know who keeps. Can someone explain to me why this game does that? Can someone explain to me why this game does that? I just did it. I just switched them. I did this already. I don't know why it's overriding what I'm doing. This is ridiculous. Let's see, Matt Thomas. You get 18, and Fleming gets 30. I said it like this. Why is it changing it? It should not be changing it. There's nothing here that says the CPU should override all this. There is nothing that says that. And it might do it again, even though I changed it. Okay, I didn't do it this time. All right, we're going to get to the fourth quarter unless it's a blowout their side. You know, if it's a blowout on their side, I do not want to watch it. Because we're now down 0-2. So we're going to go ahead and simulate. And we'll make this a little bit faster. We just need to get to the fourth quarter. Slow down a bit. Another close game. A little bit more. So like just a little bit more. All right. 
right there. Jump in. I don't want to take all day. This is a 40 minute video as it's turning out. Turning out. I don't want to take too long on it. We're just doing the first two games. I'll come up with games three and four tomorrow. This is all I'm doing. This playoff series right now. Come on, Switch. Get faster. Okay, good. We have a game. All right. Down a point. Was the fastest one. Now Jetson. That one goes. Oh. Six eight point four. This game now six for ten. They're not playing defense with anywhere near the passion they showed in the first half. It has been a big time drop off. Really? So the Grizzlies fight right now. Jackson is up. Still John Morant. Then it's Christian Wood. Then it's Malone. And it's Tillman in the position. Seattle calls timeout. You got the one for the team. John Morant. They can't leave him alone for a second on the perimeter. Not the way he should take him. Let's take a look at the Seattle's player of the game. John Morant. And the way he made his mark with his boy inside. He Only 19 points. Tonight. That's pretty good. Getting to the basket at will. And just seemingly taking advantage of a deed that was reluctant to get in his way. Block. During the last break, it hurt Seattle's coach as he was resting the team. This game is obviously close to going the way. We want to make sure that these guys are on the same page and we all staying with the game for you. And we're going to close this one out. Thanks so much, David. Got it. 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 No! What the block? <laughs> Stan uses it to perfection to deny shooters. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. And well, they didn't make it this far by giving up easy ones. And now their defense is in over. All these timeouts, man. Get to it. One point game, guys. And, you know, I know it. This Grizzly team is really good. We're probably supposed to lose, but I just, the way our seasons went, I just hate to not get a game, you know? We worked so hard to get here. Jackson. No, good rebound by Williams. Shoot it, Elder James. Drinks it. We got a two point lead. No, yes. Get it in there. No. Oh, block. Oh, God. Tie game. You know the bad part about it is I am a Memphis Grizzlies fan. But not today. Not today. Get in there, 
Fleming? No! Too strong. free throw shooter he is. Well, I hope to God he's a bad one. Here we go. Seven point four seconds. No. And we're down. Oh, two. Man, we're down 0 2. We're down 0 2. And I don't think we're playing bad because these games are close. But, man. Tudor getting hurt does not help. Suggs gave me all he could give me, man. He gave me 30 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists. He gave me all he could give me. Miles Bridges had a great, had a good game. Eldon James was sort of off. He needs to be better. Course Moss was off. Burke doesn't give me anything. Thomas did not do well. I was right to not give him the minutes. Um, he's just not Tador. Tador can make some shots. Lester Atkins was off. Williams, man, rebounds was there. Need to be have a more of a force inside. And, you know, Jeff Joffrey Fleming's a rookie. You know, I didn't expect much from him. He's gonna take time for him to grow into what he needs to be. It's just it's just bad. We're down. Two games to none. We just can't stop this team. Jerry Jackson Jr. has been my worst nightmare, man. He's been a nightmare. He's been a nightmare. And I don't know what to do, man. Three-pointers, even. Free throws, about even. Times we went to, both teams went to the line. That's not enough fast break points. Points in paint were hard to come by. We limited theirs, but they limited ours. Second chance points that killed us. Bench is about even. Tudor made a lot of a difference, man. Assists about even. Offensive rebound, they got the edge. Steals, blocks. Had more points off turnovers. This is not, this, it's not like we're playing bad. In fact, we have points where we go on runs, but we're down 0-2. So I have to say we're down 0-2, and I don't really have an answer. Um, the Dodora the Dador injury really hurts us, man. Matt Thomas is not Tudor. But... This is our first year. 
I don't know what else to do. And I wonder how everybody's feeling right now. I wonder how we're all feeling. Suggs is still hot. Bridges is hot. And I, ha I should have it where Williams is getting more minutes. I don't know who keeps changing my rotation. I'm going to look into this stuff because I think that the players I want to get more minutes aren't getting the minutes I want them to get. Williams should be in there like a lot. He should be in, in the game a lot, and he's not. I gave him way more than 22 minutes. I gave him 30. But they kept uh, Suggs at where he's at. I need Williams to get more minutes. Lester Atkins, I do not want to take him out of the out of the thing, because right now they're saying he's having a boost. He might be a, a key cog. Sengun is kind of down right now. I don't know what else to do. I could switch someone. I could I could go small forward. I could take a small forward out and move them over to shooting guard. And I might look to do that because Matt Thomas ain't it. But we're in a 0-2 hole. And next game, next, next will be games three and four. And if necessary, five and six. But I don't even think it would get there. We we are in trouble. Seattle's in trouble. We go to Memphis now. That will we'll see if we can get a game. We need a game. We need a game bad. Hey guys, thank y'all for checking out Seattle Sonic basketball. It's been fun. I wanted this season. I wanted this playoff series. I got it. <laughs> Now we got to dig ourselves out. I got to go through this roster, see what I can do. I got to move some people around. Um, I do not want to get swept. I do not want to get swept in our first series in the playoffs. We need a game or two. Make ourselves feel better. If we're going to go out, I want us going out swinging. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace.